Let's record. All right. Okay, so let's recap. It's not like what we did. You just do the sweep single. Remember to hold on to the knee with your right. Get your knee behind the leg and build your table and then you know try to free your arms by whispering. First, let's practice that. I want you to get that down. Okay. All right, let's let you go. Let me go. Okay. Get your sweep. Okay, remember, remember the, remember the push pull thing, man. Okay. So you got your full minimum. Uh, go ahead here, get your shot. Boom. Ah, uh, don't fall your hip like that. Okay. Right. Where's the knee? Where's the hand on the knee? There you go. Because the guy's gonna feel more inclined to move if his leg doesn't feel like it's freaking part of you. Let's slow, slow it down just a bit. Okay, feel him, feel the push. Okay, remember to use use it against use it against me and drop. Take your shot. See how important it is to drill a lot? Yeah. We drilled this four or five times and you had it down. Right. Then we moved on to something else and did a bunch of other things and then just see so wrestling, you gotta you gotta drill and keep up on your drill. Yeah. Keep keep your muscle your muscle memory sharp. Okay, you're sweet. Okay. Okay, remember how I told you my next step is to try to step around with that knee behind this leg? Yeah. Okay, now do it, do it as I react. Okay, boom. Now, go back down again. Keep my leg like right here. Okay. You're right here, and I'm telling you that if my knee is if my knee is loose, I can do all these things. I can kick out, I can cartwheel over, I can I, I can I can make it hell for you. Yeah. I can start pulling. So what I'm saying is, you're, you're, this has to become second nature where you come up and you grab this and you secure it and you, now, now you're in control, build the table, work to building the table. That's the first step. Go. Boom. Still hold it though. Okay? Now I'm going to count and I'm going to try to fight hands and pull and try to get my wizard. Uh, you guys are going to got to lower your shoulders. No. No, no, no. no, no. Just remember the simple dropping of the hand? Your table is to loosen up your free hand. He wants to take away your free hand, the wizard. So you gotta fight to keep that free hand free. You build your table, you got the knee, boom. Now that I've got that, I switch hands. My left hand comes to the knee, this hand's the free hand now. What am I reaching for? The other leg, get my two. Okay. All right, so. Sweet. Boom. There you go, now secure that. There you go, that. Secure, secure it when it's down here. Okay, boom. Now, free hand. This is the goal. This is the goal. Here you go. See how I'm trying to still take it away? Yeah. I'm trying to trap it from moving. I don't, want, I don't want it to be able to work. There you go. There's your two. Uh, you just stayed tight. You didn't let go. You kept what you had. You were patient and you finished. You didn't panic. That's what you got to learn to do in all sorts of positions. Just get so comfortable with knowing your basics, keeping your hips square, you know, powerful. You just, you concentrate on those things, you, you put yourself above so many people. And yeah, like I said, it makes your defense really tough. And if your defense is tough, it makes your offense, offense more confident, in my opinion. Yeah, because you're like, this guy can never, it's like, I'm, I'm free to move, free to do what I want, even if this guy does beat me to a shot and outquicks me, I'm going to stop him. So it gives you just more confidence to just always stay in the offensive mode, you know? So what if you have to go to defense? You already know you're confident. I can stop anybody. That's, what you, that's where you want to get. Yeah. So, like I said, remember, like, it's, it's good to have, be confident. Like, if I shoot in right here, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to get this. 